one of the strengths of using ePortfolios for assessment is it flips the paradigm on assessment and takes some of the sting of that word away from uh, the, the fear that faculty have. So it makes it clear that what we're looking at is evidence of student learning. How are students achieving the goals that the faculty have set for their program? And we want to look at the effectiveness of the curriculum, not the faculty member. So this is not a judgment. And when you say the word assessment, faculty usually think judgment. You are trying to catch me out of doing something not as well as I should. If we talk about, let's look at the student evidence, let's all sit down together, look at that evidence, and decide whether or not the students are achieving the goals that we've set for the program in the way that we, that we hope that they have. If they haven't, then we go back and look at the curriculum and we say, okay, where are the weak spots in that curriculum? Where can we improve? Can we add an assignment? Um, have we taken a course out of the progression that didn't, so, and that's why the students are not doing as well, so we need to put that course back in. Do we take, a, do we change an assignment and that actually change um, some of the ability of the students to handle more difficult tasks? So all of those questions um, come up for discussion. Or we find out that we're actually doing a really good job and that the evidence that the students are producing is something that we can really be proud of. But it, it's never an assessment of the faculty. It's an assessment of the effectiveness of the curriculum to meet the goals of the program. And I think when you use ePortfolios, you get a much deeper view of the student learning, a much broader view of what st students can do, and you hear from the students what they think has been transformative and powerful. And I don't think the faculty often get that information. Um, and I think it's very gratifying when they find out that they've done something really well. So I think ePortfolios are really gonna catch on like wildfire. They certainly um, are definitely doing that at our institution. And we're hearing from a lot of other folks around the country that are also feeling the same way. So we're excited to be part of this whole ePortfolio movement.